Uh, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, we're going to start off this evening with a presentation from Stephanie Merrill from the Conservation Council of New Brunswick. Absorb 
uh, methane uh, particles in it. It's another indicator of where um, gas might potentially be. Um, and then, of course, I don't, I don't know if, you, if anybody's heard, but um, the latest uh, in that exploration program is the seismic program. So uh, a lot of communities now are seeing um, industry kind of make face in communities uh, asking for contracts to cross uh, private land for seismic lines. Um, in seismic, I have some diagrams about what a method is, but it's just basically a program that allows them to hone in better on where the actual um, geology that houses the, the, the gas that they're looking for a, a bit easier. Thanks. And then, like I said, Corridor and Apache um, are already out there drilling uh, and fracking and uh, doing tests of the gas that's coming back in Elgin. They have uh, two wells there. And we're just kind of waiting to hear from Apache as to what the results of those, uh, those tests were and how they're going to proceed with uh, the next phase of their program. So, so like I said, we're really seeing uh, the increase in the seismic programs right now. Um, uh, the last thing I heard was that there are three seismic lines that are uh, originating in the uh, Pentecodiac area and running, running north towards Miramichi. I don't know exactly uh, where those lines run, but um, there's around 3,000 landowners that uh, that potentially affects. So, so seismic imagery, imaging basically creates seismic waves that, uh, that are created by blasting off dynamite or by uh, driving thumper trucks along highways and, and slamming, slamming the road systems, creating seismic waves that um, go down to the geology, they bounce off that geology, come back to the surface, and are received by technology that allows uh, the company to analyze the data and figure out what exactly that geology looks like. And of course, they're looking for a specific geology, the shale plays that will um, produce the most lucrative uh, gas that the, they're searching for. So this is an image of what, kind of what's going on under the, under the ground. <coughs> and this is a, a 2D seismic, uh, seismic lines being run uh, in Alberta. So this is what it looks like from an aerial view. So, so they need to cut swaths uh, across the landscape in order to lay down the lines uh, that are uh, attaching the, the dynamite blasts uh, and receiving the, uh, the geophones at the surface which receive the, 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 the waves that are coming back to the surface. So the community of Penobscot, as I mentioned, um, has been through a lot of the last um, 10 years or so, maybe longer, um, and they're in front of the mining commissioner uh, it's a very kind of complicated story to tell the community of Penobscot because they are home to two large industries. They're home to Potash Corporation and Porter Resources, and as I mentioned, they are also partners. Um, and so uh, the, the community is um, claiming that activities from both, uh, from both Potash and from uh, natural gas exploration production has, um, has affected them greatly, and um, specifically the seismic program uh, that Potash Corporation went through. Um, so people in that community felt the ground shaking and the house shaking while that program was being implemented. Um, they had cracked windows in their homes. They found blowout holes that were left open, uh, and actually a farmer uh, came across one with his tractor. He also came across um, a, a blast, a dynamite blast that had not, uh, a seismic charge that had not been, we well, didn't know if it had um, been had been discharged. Uh, and so uh, actually the RCMP were called in that situation to find out if that uh, was a live charge or not. I don't I don't believe it was in the end. Um, but I can imagine what that farmer felt like when they, when he rolled up on top of a, a seismic charge. Um, the, so, and, the, and the ground is subsiding in the community of Penobscot. Um, so the, the land is settling, their homes are uh, kind of sinking into the ground, the, the foundations, their houses are being affected. Um, and also, immediately after the seismic program, uh,